Yeah, I'm a bit late to this. Kill me, why don't you? Well, guys, it's here. Well, by the time this video comes out, it's been here, but, you know, I digress. The update we've been longing for has finally arrived, and boy, this was definitely my favorite update so far. This update brought two new maps, a new game mode, the UI overhaul, new cosmetics and regiments, loading screens, hypothermia return, the double barrel pistol, siege engineer armor, and of course, the topic of today's video, the pickaxe. There's obviously a lot more to this update than what I just listed, but I really don't think I can fit all of these changes into one video, so I'm just gonna leave that to the dozens of other YouTubers who've already done it. And hey, if you really want to know what they added, go find out for yourself. Also, sorry this video took a bit longer than expected, I just really wanted to get used to the new items before forming an opinion, and I'm lazy, but we don't talk about that other part. Anyways, enough stalling. Pickaxe is the first sapper-specific melee weapon to be added to Guts and Black Powder. If the purpose of the axe is to clear out hordes of zombies easily with the downside of a slow swing rate, think of the pickaxe as an item more centered around dealing quick, high damage attacks to singular enemies. The pickaxe deals 100 damage compared to the axe's 85, along with the higher headshot multiplier compared to the axe, with the headshot damage of the pickaxe being 600 compared to the axe's 425. Little thing to note here, sappers take 54.5% less damage from headshots, meaning instead of the axe dealing 425, it deals 231, and instead of the pickaxe dealing 600, it deals 327. Hey, editing 24, I'm just here to tell you that what I just said is a lie. The headshot resistance for the zapper only applies to guns, so just forget I said any of that. However, while the pickaxe may deal more damage to single targets, it struggles a bit with hordes because of its penetration. Now the penetration listed in the pickaxe's description says it only hits one zombie at a time, but that's not really true. The pickaxe will deal the full 100 damage to the first zombie you hit, but any other zombies hit during the swing will only take 30 damage, which is just enough to kill runners by the way. It's not all bad though, as the headshot can still deal up to 150 damage to the zombies that weren't the first to be hit with the pickaxe. So if you line up a headshot, you'll be able to take out a maximum of 3 zombies in a single swing, just like the axe. The pickaxe also has a 0.2 second, now 0.3 second, faster swing rate compared to the axe, and can be used to secure kills on higher health enemies in quick succession. You can also use it to kill runners quicker if you somehow miss your swing, or if there are multiple runners you have to deal with. Other than that, the axe and pickaxe have the same shove speed, and that's pretty much it for stats. Now for some- Now, I'd like to preface this section of the video with this. I am NOT a sapper main, I'm a bugle main, and I don't play sapper often. Despite this, I believe I can still give some tips to help you use the pickaxe effectively. Alright. Well, because of the pickaxe's, let's just say, less effective crowd control capabilities, you're gonna want to be a bit more active with this weapon. No, not managing your buildings type active, although you should still be keeping your buildings healthy, as any sapper should. What I mean is more active in the sense that you want to stick closer to the front lines, keeping a lookout for any high health enemies, like zappers, so you can get utility out of your high headshot damage. To guarantee a headshot, I usually wait for the zapper to swing and then stand upright again before going for the kill. However, if you're good enough, you can just swing and kill them before their axe hits your noggin. But if there's a large horde of zombies in front of the zapper, this can complicate things, so it's probably best if you let your team handle those situations. Or should you? You aren't incapable of taking out hordes, and if you line up your swings perfectly, you, in theory, could actually take out zombies quicker with the pickaxe compared to the axe. Because of the swing speed buff on the pickaxe, I've been able to handle hordes just as well with the pickaxe as I would with the axe, specifically on higher waves, around 20 and above. Obviously, the axe is clearly the far superior option when it comes to reliable crowd control, so if you're the type of sapper to manage your buildings and stick to protecting them the entire game, I recommend you use the axe, as you can take out more zombies without having to aim for the head. And hey, if you're struggling with taking out zombies, I've got just the thing for you. Introducing... Grenades! Yeah, grenades are just incredibly powerful in general, but especially so on Sapper. And even if you're not using the pickaxe, I'd highly suggest using them if you're not already. What about objective, huh? And this isn't the only game mode, you noob! Well then I've got some good news for you, friend. It's actually pretty decent on objective. Now at least in my experience, the pickaxe really didn't perform all that differently compared to the axe in terms of how many kills I got. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the end of that statement. Nothing more to that. Okay, okay, we've already established that the pickaxe is great for higher health enemies, especially zappers. But what if you wanted to stomp on them harder? What if you wanted to make a zapper's life a living hell? 
I've got to admit, I really wasn't going to give the Siege Engineer armor a chance, but ever since the buffs, I've been having the time of my life. Because the armor gives you a 66% damage resistance to all incoming melee attacks, it allows you to tank four zapper hits in a row without dying. Zapper's attacks go from dealing a terrifying 65 damage to a measly 21.5. Now keep in mind this comes at the cost of 10% more fire damage vulnerability, 25% less repair rate, which can pretty much be nullified with a Pfeiffer, assuming they know what the metronome does, and an 8.5% move speed reduction. The armor basically turns you into a juggernaut that can both take and dish out massive amounts of damage, and it honestly deserves its own video. I guess the TLDR of this section is really just that the armor is good, and you should use it. Pickaxe or not? Uh, what else? Uh, oh yeah, hardcore. <laughs> Hardcore got changed a bit in this update, the extents of which didn't seem to be listed in the update log, but it seems the health of each zombie has stayed relatively the same. You sadly can't body shot zombies at the start of every objective map with a pickaxe in Hardcore, which is the only thing that really sucks about it. However, headshots will kill every zombie in the game without fail, including zappers, even if you're on the last stage of an objective map on Hardcore. But you may have heard all this and have started thinking to yourself, Hey, why do I need to one-shot zombies? And well, sometimes not being able to one-shot zombies doesn't mean all that much. But other times, being able to one-shot a zombie, specifically a zapper, can save someone's life, especially in Hardcore, where a zapper's axe can deal 85 damage with a single swipe. It's sort of the same argument I made with the knock-on video. Uh, yeah, I really don't have anything more to say that will let me drag this on longer, so just use the pickaxe on Hardcore. Seriously, even if you think it's not better than the axe, just use it. It's fun. That's the whole message of this video. The pickaxe is fun! Musicians are your best friend while playing with the pickaxe. Specifically, the drummer and bugler. Drummer boosts your already fast swing rate of 0.8 seconds down to 0.5, assuming they're using the metronome correctly, which is around the same swing rate of the saber. This helps a ton when you're dealing with crowds, something the pickaxe is supposed to be weak against. This is less noticeable when camping behind a barricade, as you're usually just going to be shoving and repairing while your teammates take care of the zombies, but if another sapper is already handling that, go wild. Bugler makes it so anything you touch gets sent straight to hell. 1200 damage with a single headshot is never really needed. Although like the drums, the bugler enables you to have an actual chance to take out hordes easier. Even the Pfeiffer isn't all that useless, as it buffs your healing rate for buildings by 20%. I guess what I'm trying to say is protect your musicians at all costs. But remember musicians, that goes the other way around too. I know it's basically a meme at this point, but seriously, if you see a person being mauled, don't just stare at them. Do something. It takes you a single second to pull out your weapon and save someone. Seriously, it's not that hard. I understand that sometimes it's easy to get tunnel vision, but try to keep your ears and eyes peeled just in case your teammates do need help. On the topic of saving people, did you know the pickaxe can be used to save people just as well as the axe can? Now at first that may seem a bit silly, because of a certain feature of this weapon that I've mentioned a bit throughout this video. Fun fact, did you know the shove was specifically added to the game so that sappers could have an easier way to save teammates? I'm surprised how many people don't use the shove to save teammates, and instead just opt to swing out the horde of infected swarm and their comrade. You can just swing your pickaxe to free your teammate, but you'll learn pretty quickly that the shove is a much more reliable way of doing so. Honestly, if the shove didn't exist, the pickaxe would probably be a D tier item. Now, the shove's range did get nerfed in this update, along with the amount of zombies you can stun at once. However, the shove still proves to be an incredibly effective tool, whether you're on defense or offense. If you're backed into a corner and there's too many zombies to handle at once, just like, shove them out of the way. Too many zombies trying to break your barricade? Shove them away, problem solved. Here's another situation you're probably used to, CAMPING GRAVES! If you see a sapper camping a grave all by himself, go ahead and help him out. Whether it be by giving them buffs, helping them kill zombies, or hey, if you're a fellow sapper healing their buildings while they deal with the horde, no amount of help goes unnoticed. Overall, I think the pickaxe is a fun weapon with an interesting quirk that, while not better than the axe in some situations, is certainly worth giving a try. It's definitely one of the better weapons in the game in terms of overall effectiveness, and as it stands is pretty balanced in my opinion. I give it an 8 out of 10. The update is still pretty fresh, <laughs> no it isn't, so they may make some changes in the future. I mean hey, the carbine's actually fun now so I'll probably have to revisit that again! But anyways, if you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe if you'd be so kind, and yeah, this is me signing out. Goodbye. Hey, Bredesden, I'm a really big fan. Could I please get off? Shut the fuck up! You shut the fuck up! No, I hope you die in a fucking-